Yes, we like it so much. We like it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Absolutely, <Yeah>. we love it. <laughs> okay, so hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel, La Fisica Che Ci Piace, where learning physics and mathematics is amazing and to celebrate our six thousand subscribers oh my god i have here a very special friend <laughs> it's jeff winner from cern so first of all thank you so much to oh, with pleasure yes, thank you so much for having me my interview buongiorno, <laughs> buongiorno. <laughs> we are in cern and it's a place uh, important very important for people around the world but how did you end up here what is the reason okay for? Yeah, well first of all thanks for calling it ending up i i think i really ended up here <laughs> <laughs> i um so i'm a I, I used to be a physics teacher i okay. was a physics high school teacher in austria and uh, then after a couple of years of teaching i i loved it completely but i i wanted to do something else so i first went on a trip around the world mm -hmm. as you do right uh, but then i got a very nice email from a professor from the university of dresden in germany who asked me if i want to join cern for uh, nine months and i was like oh, absolutely i will interrupt my trip around the world come okay. to uh, cern work for nine months and then come you know here. continue again so that was eight years ago because wow. since then I, i i was never allowed to leave which is very good of course I was very happy I, I did my PhD at CERN I did my postdoc at CERN and so now I'm a staff scientist at CERN meaning that I uh, I have a almost permanent contract permanent for five years you know that's the mm -hmm. best you can get in science at the moment and oh. I'm now in charge of all the teacher program uh, yes, the, the teacher programs at CERN yes I mean that's also why you are here and so yeah so that's how I got here so I started as a teacher now I'm at CERN teaching the teachers <laughs> which, which is a very nice is wonderful a nice career i'm very happy i'm <laughs> the you. luckiest person you will meet <laughs> yes, yes, yes so why cern is important not only for students but also for people uh, now nowadays especially absolutely i mean i mean cern is CERN is amazing. I, I really love it. Uh, I would not say that CERN is, you know, the only place in the world that is amazing, but it's clearly one of the role models when it comes to international collaboration and fundamental research. Two things that I personally uh, feel very strongly about it. Um, it's uh, that people work together and, mm -hmm. you know, you, you have shared interests and you work together. And also you do a fundamental research on the forefront of, of, of knowledge. I mean, you're pushing further the boundaries of our knowledge. And in turn, from time to time, uh, we get something out of it i mean for example the fact that we can stream this video on the internet yes. is only because to this day 30 years ago the web back then it was only the web now it's yeah. the world wide web was invented at cern oh. And, yeah, yes, and, yes, and yeah. not in any way for you know so that we can now share our videos that's very nice yes, I'm very happy yes, it's but it's possible to watch that video that interview on YouTube or exactly of course, yeah. yeah but yeah. our idea in the beginning was really just how do I share data from one box to another box and now we can look at cat pictures or our videos so it's a very it's simple invention probably but it's uh, it's the it was uh, a changement for absolutely the world, it's yeah, the for evolution people. of our time yeah, yeah so yeah. so that's very nice but uh, <laughs> of course it, it should not only be for focused on what we get out of it it's also okay. the to explore the new the new science oh, it's incredible and so another question you have a child here haven't you <laughs> What kind of child, child I, have to be, I have to be very careful now how to phrase that, but it is true. <laughs> I, it is true. I, I have a baby at CERN. Yes, you have a baby. But it's, it's you have a baby. It, <laughs> but it's not a we. I mean, not, you not a human us baby. I think I should explain. What kind of baby do you have here? <laughs> um, so uh, we have we have a laboratory at CERN. Uh, yeah. It's uh, called School Lab. Yeah. And uh, School Lab is a, is a lab for high school students who come to CERN to not only visit be the beautiful installations of CERN, but also do experiments to understand yeah. what we do at CERN. And this is really, I like to say, it's my baby. Uh, I, uh, it was uh, one of my largest project so far when I was a PhD student. I, I took care of, of, you know, developing this baby. But then I was a very, you know, good father. I handed it over to a fantastic School Lab team and they now take care of everything. This is the, the cool thing. So I was in charge of, of setting up School up designing it but now they do the real work so um, I like to get all the blame but it's actually n I, I was just the starter of the project okay, yes so, and talking about school lab I'm gonna share with all of you the link oh please to, do yes, so. to search information about school lab because it's very important it's a kind of a 
different environment for scientists and teachers and students and people that are curious about physics exactly. as well. Yes. And, and maybe just to add, even yeah. if people cannot come to CERN to experience Coolip themselves yeah. via the website, they can at least look through the experiments because we have a lot of stuff that people can do on their own in their home. I mean, in the kitchen, you can do physics in your kitchen based on the experiments we prepare. And all of that is, of course, open access. So you can just go to the website and just download it. But then if you like it, you have to make sure you book a trip to come to CERN so that you see it in real uh, life. It's a beautiful baby. Okay. It's wonderful. <laughs> so another question, the sure. fourth, you didn't expect that. No, exactly. What about here? Oh. It's very easy. We yeah. are down in the LEC. I mean, that's what we do, right? I mean, okay. this is we are in the. Uh, this is the Large Hadron Collider. It's the largest accelerator in the world. We are very lucky to have it at CERN, and um, at the moment, it's not running uh, because we have to take good care of this machine. Uh, we have to maintain it every couple of years, and so at the moment, we are in the long shutdown number two, which means it's not running, and that's why we can stand next to it. <laughs> and this is the time for people around the world. That's why we can stand next to it. <laughs> and this is the time for people around the world to visit CERN. Of it course. is really true. It is really true. It's the right time. Yeah. They might not be lucky to to really go underground to the LEC, but still, all our facilities are really at the moment on shutdown. So you get to see a lot. And the cool thing is, at the uh, well, not the end of this year, but uh, later this year in September, we will have open days. So we really wow. have the, uh, open days for two days a weekend. CERN will be open, and anyone can just pass by. You don't need to book a ticket to come here. Uh, you might need to register if you want to see something really cool, but to come here per se, you just show up and wow. hundreds of thousands of people will do so, so it will be full, but I'm really excited for this weekend because we will just open everything. It, it wow. will be fantastic. I'm going to share this as well about uh, yes. uh, open days here at CERN. Okay, thank you for oh. accepting this interview. It's My it, pleasure. It has been wonderful for me thank and you. I knew thank very you. well this. Uh, and uh, so, see you soon on my channel. Bye for now. Ciao. <laughs>